Hi guys and welcome to the second round of the British GT here on the Torah League. We are here in Silverstone. This is my qualifying lap here in the Lotus Evora S. And we have some new joiners here in the GT4 League, but I am still the only one in a Lotus Evora. So let's see what time we can get here. This will probably be my last multi class league. You will see why in a few minutes. So let's go here to the right. Have to be really patient here on the throttle. Oh, let's push out. This is the last lap of the qualifying, so I have to do my best here. Now let's go to the right. I love the section here in front. Now let's go to the left. I have FRH Carrera behind me, so Adam Watts in front of me. Nearly a second faster than me, Adam Watson, really good qualifying from him there. But let's see what we can do. And here we have 0 0.6 of advantage here. to my fastest lap she came down the corner to the right and we will cross the pit uh, the lane here sorry and the time is 2.10.1 so let's start race number one yes still still in the rain we have on the right LMP statistic in the Porsche in front this Mr. Drive and Ligers here in the McLaren. Mr. Drive make a mistake here, I can go up to the outside. A little touch here. Go a little bit on drift session here, but I can catch the car. LMP statistics can pass me here. And now I'm behind the fifth position here. This is lobby number one, so the fastest of the GT4 cars. Your mistake from LMP statistic, I can pass him here. But he's still very close to me. Let's go up to the left and fourth position here. We have Joito on the first place, then Adam Watson in the Aston Martin second, and Lighters in third place in front of me. Good right here. Alan Pistatistic, very close. I go a little bit wide here, extend a little bit this one because of mistake. So I've done a few of a few practice laps here in the rain. But not that much. But I knew where the puddles are, so that I can avoid them. So the straight here, down to the right. Also have to be patient here with the trouble, especially in the rain. And now uh, on the chicane here, big puddle on the right side, so I have to be uh, a little bit more on the inside for this chicane drain. Now to the right, and we finish lap number one in third position here. Let's move on to lap number six. I really catch up here with Ligers. Balance statistic here, lost position. 
and now I have Mr. Drive behind me and I'm really close to lighters let's go up to the right here and down to the left there's a puddle and on the brakes here I gain a lot and then we go to the left and once again to the left is a straight here to the first straight of the lap only 20 meters behind Lyges here but he goes a little bit wide here I go up to the inside come a little bit drifty over this corner here still behind him but he has the better acceleration out of that corner the puddle on the left side so avoid this puddle it will smash you up so let's go to the right he makes a little bit of mistake here goes too wide just managed to avoid him and go up to the inside now I'm in front of him so I'm in third position behind that Watson let's move on here lap number 10 coming out of the pit. Lyger's already pitted and I just come in front of him in about 40 meters in front of him. But he's really close to me now. Still in third position here. So and let's move on lap number 14 out of 15 I have 300 meters of advantage to Lyges so really good but here comes the uh, GT3 cl class here and pass me here so they are in the last lap I let them pass they are here in the last lap they will cross now the line and finish the race but I have still one lap to do so at this moment the AI controls the car I didn't realize that first that moment now I realized it and thought okay I have to pass them somehow not very easy because one is left one is on the right but here I can pass one and look at this the AI just takes the perfect line and break in front of me so I damaged my car Lyges is catching up here not so easy to keep the car on track here still in third position and still is too three cars here controlled by the AI in front of me but I have no chance here it comes here on my outside I give him the room because there's no point to smash him out or something like that let's go to the right still behind him maybe I have a little bit of luck um, he also an incident but no he goes a little bit wide here I'm still behind him with the damaged car now they touch a little bit here but I go a little bit sideways here look at that stupid AI in the wall there and so lighters pass me in the last lap after I gained about 300 meters on him
corner to the right. Now the chicane. So I lost my podium here in the last lap on lighters. Really unlucky. I didn't think that the AI would break there. So let's start race number two. I start in fourth position. That's where I ended in the last race behind lighters. Really good start here from LMP Statistic. Goes up to the inside, touches me a little bit. I touch Lighters. But that was luckily still in. I gained one position out of that. And now I'm behind Anna Watson and Joito in third position. Once again, third. Let's see what we can do in this race, race number two here. Joito and Adam Watson were really fast here. Joito makes mistakes here, goes really, really wide there. Can rejoin just in front of me. And Lighters is also very close to me here. Up to the right. So it will extend a little bit here. A little bit of a corner cut. And then out to the right. And the last straight line here. Before the corner to the right. In third position behind me, Lighters. Well, let's take the chicane here. Really close to Jaito, but he's really fast. So, and well, finish lap number one let's move on to the final lap lap number 15 nothing happened here so far still in third position Joito is in front of me second place and Adam Watson is in first place here once again this is the AI who took control of the GT3 car so I knew what happened the race before so here I go up to the outside, everything's okay. Lightress is behind me, about 90 meters. And I haven't done mistakes in these two races, but here in the last race, on the last lap, I've done a mistake, oh, way too much. Right here, lost a lot of ground, Lightress is really close to me here, and I have the AI car here. On my left side, the GT3 car. And this cool car, this AI takes the racing line. So I can't go to the left. So I uh, lose a little bit of ground here. Because of that, light just goes up to the inside. Touch a little bit here, and then this car comes across. Slides me around and here passes Mr. Drive, get one position. Light just had the better acceleration and get also this position. So I lost two position in the last lap of the second race. Once again I lost the podium in the last lap, but this time I lost two positions because of the AI. So this is why I will not drive any multi-class leaks more. This will be my last one here. Look at this AI. Smash into Liger's and comes across. I smash into him and yes, 
once again my car is damaged and another touch from another AI car and also this one breaks once again oh, look at that just a chaos here yes that was my second race here you see the GT4 standings I'm in third position here hope I can keep that position only one race left and this is the team standings so independent team standings I'm in second position here behind generation OMR in the GT4 class thanks for watching guys hit the like button if you like that and subscribe if you want to see more content like this thanks bye